are listening to The Stick and Hack Show, a show about golf and life from a stick and a hack. Now, here is your host, Adam Grubb and Mike Ryan. All right, everybody, welcome in. It is The Stick and Hack Program. I'm your host, Adam Grubb, The Hack. That's Mike Ryan, The Stick over there. Mike, how are you? Super, buddy. Good. Always. Good. We got a uh, we got a, a guest today that is coming off a uh, month, I guess, month removed now from a uh, devastating uh, Super Bowl loss. He's from <laughs> Kansas City. <laughs> And um, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's over it by now. I've been there. He has, he has his own his own form of PTSD just from the uh, Kansas City Chiefs loss. Steve Pope, a firefighter from Kansas City, and is uh, a on a quest to help firefighters across the country deal with PTSD through the healing power of golf. And uh, what he is is accomplishing and doing uh, in a very short order is remarkable and a really, really cool story. He's been a firefighter for uh, nearly 25 years in Kansas City, uh, born and raised there, a native, and uh, is bringing awareness to first responders and firefighters over PTSD through golf, which leads us right into uh, the conversation between you and I, Mike, in that the healing power of golf is a real thing. And it sounds silly to say because uh, most people either love or hate golf and sometimes in the same hole, sometimes in the same (laughs) swing. Um, But there is an affinity for golf and how it does truly cleanse the soul, helps you uh, through some of the most difficult times of your life as well as just makes you feel better. Why do you think that is? Well, I I think mainly it's it's just the the nature of golf in that it's just you – and you can either be with a group of people or by yourself on a golf course. And it gives you time to be, you know, away from the troubles of every day. Right. And, um, I think it's one of those things where it allows you to get out, be outside, be among, be in, in nature. And, you know, it gives, it gives you that opportunity to just contemplate life or not. <laughs> Just or just think about right, nothing, right, right? Right, and just be, and just be, and moment. and not worry about whatever it is you got going on in your life, and just worrying about how do I hit this stupid ball down the down the fairway. And if that's or, your biggest stress, uh, uh, yeah. you know, in in life at that at that point, I think that's the that's the point that's that's being made is that um, that stupid little white ball going longer than 150 yards or, or and going straight um, or parring every hole or whatever it is your goal is, is that's your only stress and your only thought during that time period. Uh, you're doing, you're doing okay. And you are in fact pushing all that negativity and cathartically dispelling anything that's happening in your life away. It is tough to think though, that something like a PTSD injury or, uh, just the, the first responders life veterans, uh, there's a lot of groups of people that are coming out of some pretty nasty uh, things yeah. And to think that golf could, in fact, heal them or help them is seems silly. But it's psychology has proven that it is, in fact, a real thing. And whether it's painting, whether it's whatever your leisure activity is, fishing, hunting, whatever gets you out of your zone in your space. And that's what our guest today, Steve Pope, is trying to do is to because he's not he's not a clinical psychologist. He's a firefighter himself. He's been through some pretty terrible things, but he's also a, a hero. And he is showcasing his love for golf and his love for firefighting, his love for his his, uh, his brothers, and saying, hey, let's start a YouTube channel. Let's start a Facebook group. Let's just talk about what we need to talk about in order to get through it. And that's that's heroic in its own right. Yeah, it's it's really amazing. And I have so much respect and, and, and love for, for, for anybody that is able to put themselves – in the position that the, that firefighters, that first responders, policemen, veterans do. Um, it's just, it, it's something to be admired. And I, I've, I've always, um, had such a great res- respect for, for anyone, um, that puts themselves in that position. Well, they're putting themselves in harm's way, yeah. uh, every, every single day. And, and, you know, when you're a young kid, you think, uh, being a firefighter, cause you go past the firefighting, uh, the, the station, yeah. um, and you see them, uh, lifting weights, you see them playing basketball, you see them uh, hanging out, you got the TV shows that show this, this, uh, this life of a firefighter. Uh, and you think, my God, what a cool, you, first of all, you work about two days and you're off three days and you, then you work three days, you're off. Awesome. But then you really think about that job. 
Uh, they need the three days. No, thanks. <laughs> they need the three days they off. Do. They need the three days <laughs> off to play golf and to get away from it. Um, but it, it is remarkable. Steve Pope is a guest. We welcome in him, him in now to the Stick and Act program. Steve, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for having me on your show. You're very welcome. Uh, you are doing uh, some, some pretty remarkable work in short order in just the last year as you build uh, this, this kind of uh, community and, and this thought process of, of golf as the healing power for first responders and firefighters uh, helping them through PTSD. Run us through quickly what the platform is, what you're doing, and, and why you're doing it. So I started last January my YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, social media plunge to try to use social media as good to bring awareness even more so to the PTS that firefighters, first responders, military, I don't want to exclude them, um, what we go through. And it, it could be suicide. It could be substance abuse. For me, it was just trying to cope and with the everyday stresses that my job brings and then come home and not bring that home to my family. Um, Cause I found out that's a lot of struggles with a lot of my brothers and sisters more so than the other things, but suicide is becoming bigger in first responders. Statistics show that more firefighters are dying from suicide now than in line of duty. So and you're, it's a real thing. And you're going through and you're playing golf. Uh, you're filming it. You're, you're talking to them uh, to, and, and you're showcasing how golf can heal, how it can um, kind of uh, erase to the best of its ability, some of the memories and some of the things these people are going through, but you're more specifically, you're hearing their stories that they've gone through and uh, it's, it's captivating. It, it really is. And you have fun because you get to play golf. Um, where did the idea, right. where did the idea come from? And where did you say, let me take my, my two loves and combine them? Well, I, I've been, I'm 49, almost 50 years old. And I've been playing golf probably for a good 30 years or more. Um, but competitively, I've been playing for about 10 years, and uh, as my game got better. And so I was 2017 playing golf with my friend Ryan. Uh, he just went through our peer support group and the, the program for that. And he, I brought up that I had just bought up with my son. And he said, Steve, you don't realize what this job has done to you over your 20 years at that time. And it, it, it put things in perspective for me. It started the healing journey. And then, so it took me a while to get it going and, and my thought process. And then one, I was worried about just healing myself and, and getting, getting help. Uh, but I always like to say self-aware because we got to be aware of what's going through our minds. Even if we go see a doctor, we have to do it after we leave the doctor. So I'm trying to spread that part of the mission as well. Um, and then I got to thinking that with me coaching, I, I shared this with you the other day is when I coach high school golf, I'm, I always look at YouTube videos, try to find something for each kid that might work for them. Cause they're all different. And I got to thinking, man, I could, I could do a YouTube channel. I think I could, I could do that. I, and again, go back to the process I've already gone through is that I need to do something that I can share this mission that share my story of my healing uh, of, of still trying to get better. And that's kind of where it came from. It manifested from 2017, took a few years for me to figure it out. And then I said, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to, it was a lot of trepidation because I didn't know anything about editing. I didn't know anything about filming. I just jumped right into it. And here we are a year later and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of where it's going. You know, the good news is Shane, uh, producer Shane doesn't know anything about any of that either. <laughs> and he's made, a, he's made a career out of it. So, <laughs> uh, so I can't ask for him for help. Huh? <laughs> no, Steve yeah. Pope is the guest here on the Stick and Hack Show, firefighter from Kansas City, and helping firefighters and first responders go through PTSD uh, with the healing power of golf. Steve, why do you think uh, that golf provides such an outlet for therapy um, when you're working with firefighters that are, you know, dealing with PTSD? We kind of talked about it earlier, but interested to hear your perspective on what you think about golf, uh, you know, makes it easier for folks to kind of get out of their own heads. Well, you touched on it in your opening, um, Mike, that you're out there for the four or five hours. You're out there with nature. Um, you're with friends. Um, you're just away from, if you just came off duty, a lot of times I come off duty and I'll race right to the course and play. And, 
Um, it, it, it's just something about it that you're out there focus like you mentioned on yourself you're worried about the game and you're not worried about what happened and you just feel a, I feel a sense of calm when I'm out there um, which is kind of funny because golf is a frustrating game in itself maybe I should have taken up knitting and did a YouTube knitting with, uh, <laughs> channel but I said that in one of my videos when I was down at uh, playing Tiger Woods' this course down in Branson, Missouri but it, it, it's just there's guys on the fire department that hunt they fish so whatever you mentioned it whatever it is just you got to find a way to one, be self-aware of, first of all, what's going through your mind if you are stressed out and use those things to decompress and, and reinvigorate yourself back into to life, your family and, and friends. So, and Steve, I've, uh, I've tried knitting. It's not all it's cracked up, cracked up to be just, <laughs> uh, let, let me ask you this. There, there is a, a sense. And I, and I was joking about it earlier about when you're a kid and thinking about what the life of a firefighter is. Um, it's not far off, but then there's those terrible moments and, and the moments where you're, you're saving somebody, something is happening. You're seeing some pretty heinous things. Um, I don't see how somebody gets through that just by playing golf, but I'm glad that you see it because it's, it's important, but you're, Love for the game, do you feel outweighs your love for firefighting? Reversed, or are they the same? I'd say now golf outweighs firefighting, and the reason I say that is because of the stresses over the 25 years that this job has put on me. And the good thing is I realize that now, so I have a lot more joy when I go to work. There was a period there for years that I wasn't having as much joy going to the fire station. Um, because I didn't understand what was going through my mind. And that's my mission is it, you can understand what's going through your mind. Yeah. You need help from a doctor, but you have to do it yourself. So right now it's golf. I, and especially trying to share this mission through golf, um, combining those two and getting people to come play with me. Once COVID has gone, I can travel and, and, you know, I've had contacts with firefighters and on your, on your note, what you mentioned. So a fr friend of mine from Fort Worth fire department, I don't think you guys saw that wreck down there yesterday. And I shared it on social media and that hit me hard because that's the type of stuff we see. Like you said, we, we, it's hard to overcome. So I reached out to him and just make sure he's okay. If any of you talk, reach out to me. So it's real. That stuff is real. I can't, I, I get choked up talking about it. Yeah, no, it, it is. And, and you can feel this, the stress and the strain of a, of a job that, that you go through. It is so different than what a stress of a, of a nine to five and a business uh, job. And, you know, you didn't get your, your TPS reports in, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Right. Who, who the hell cares yeah. when, when you're looking you didn't at get your stapler back, right? <laughs> 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 when, when you're thinking about something that, that you guys go through um, and, and Steve, you know, I, I know that it, it is, it's heart wrenching to think about. Um, and, but you guys, you see it, uh, you know, it, it's, it's one thing for us to see it on the news and you go, my God, that, that, that is, that is right. incredible and, and, and so terrible. And our thoughts and prayers go out. Everybody says the same thing. You guys see it, and you're right there. And um, I can't imagine having, having to deal with that at night and having to deal with that down the road. It's just crazy to me that golf, being outside and thinking about nothing other than that stupid ball can truly – clear your mind. And, you know, when, when you're, when you told people this and when you said, Hey, let's, uh, let's go play golf and let's try to get our minds right. Uh, did they say, wait a minute, did you say golf to get our mind right? <laughs> Pass. But people said that they, they're, they are coming to you and they're saying, yeah, let's do this. Right. Um, so back to the, my friend, Chris from Fort Worth, you know, we, we did a video in October. He was the first firefighter I videoed with. And so, you know, we just played golf that day. It wasn't about sharing stories and even talking about anything. It's just, let's play golf. We know what I'm doing. Let's just play golf and decompress. Um, if they want to talk to me about anything, I'm there listening as their brother. But it, it it's just one of those things with, with just the stresses that I didn't understand what was going on. Um, and I'm trying to get that out there. there. There's people out there that don't realize what's going on with them. Um, so the funny, another story about not funny, I should say, but seeing that yesterday and it got me on a thought process. I watched a lot of other videos on YouTube, 
uh, other firefighters talking about their problems from a couple years ago. And it just, it hit home. Uh, seeing stuff like that weighs on you. Um, he was one of the first ones on the scene, he said, and it just, it was bad. And so reason I'm sharing that with you, you brought it up a little earlier, is just we just see those things and they pile up over time. It's called allostatic load. And I didn't understand that. Now I do. And it's real. And I'm just trying to get that mission out there, that word out that, you know, we, we can overcome this. We just need to talk about it and be vulnerable like I am. You just saw it with me crying. So no, well, we, it, no, that's, please, please don't apologize for that. Yeah, do not. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and Steve, one thing that um, popped into my mind earlier is what got you to pick up a golf club? Was it being a firefighter and some of the stresses and you were looking for that release or did you learn from a young age and pick up a golf, a golf club? You know, it, was it your dad? Who, who was it that put a golf club in your hand? Uh, it was my dad, uh, played with friends before I really started playing with him more, but, uh, he, he kind of played with me when I was about 16 and until he passed away from brain cancer when I was 21, we played. And, um, so after that, and I got hired at the fire department when I was 26. So then I could afford to play golf more. You guys know how expensive it is, but, <laughs> um, so that's where I kind of got into it more. I, uh, the previous job where I worked at a dog track, um, I played with those people. And, and so it kind of got me growing into it. And then once I worked at a fire department, the fire department, I got a job at a, a country club and worked in the pro shop and, and just, it grew, it grew from there. Um, it's just one of those games that's challenging. And, and, uh, I was a baseball guy growing up. So I just, you know, switched from that to baseball and, or to golf, baseball to golf. And here I am it, it, using it, um, as a way to, uh, help heal myself. Um, and if you watch any of my videos at the end of them, I try to talk about things. A lot of people don't stay around for the end of YouTube videos, but, so I need to try to put more of those in the middle, but, uh, I try to have some real talks with people if they stay around and listen to it. I, I do it at the beginning too. So I get their attention more, but, um, I'm, I'm still learning about all this. So uh, I'm excited for its future. Now you're, you're not a, uh, a clinical psychologist. You didn't go to school for it, but you probably have one of the better educations of, of many that you've, you live it and, and it's, it's part of you. Um, do you feel yourself getting stronger, getting smarter, getting more in tuned to the mental uh, side and the, and the psychological side and the medical side of this, or is this as simple as, Hey guys, you're going through some, some pretty heinous stuff, go play golf and let's talk about it and let's get you through this together. I have become smarter about it. I've done my own research. Um, if it wasn't for COVID, I'd already visited uh, Center of Excellence. It's a wellness place in DC for that our union is involved with, uh, the International Association of Firefighters, and I would already visited them and, and learned even more. I'm gonna go through our peer support classes and, and learn about it even more. But I've learned through this year from research and just talking to wives that have instant messaged me on Facebook because I put my real talks all over social media and they contacted me and said, Hey, that, that's exactly like my husband. And, you know, trying to, you know, that's a, it's a real thing for the spouses too. That's something else I'm going to cover in my YouTube and Instagram is interview with my wife and me talking about it. Um, I'm going to do that shortly because they have things to overcome too. It, it's, it's just one of those things with first responders and military. And, and not to mention, I mentioned it earlier, everyone has stresses in life. We all have to understand how to get over it. So yeah, to kind of answer your question, let's just go play golf. And if you want to talk about it, great. If you don't, let's just play golf and use that as a way to decompress. And because uh, most everybody that's going to complain to me know what I'm trying to do anyway. We don't have to talk about it. Yeah. But if you want to, I'm there for you. Uh, Justin Thomas, uh, a couple weeks ago, was in a tournament, and uh, it was the Sunday, and he was in contention. He was in the top 10, or uh, I think at one point towards the end of the weekend, was grandfather had passed away literally the night before that final round. And, yeah. and you saw him um, really carry that around, but he kept playing, and it, was, it would have been easy for him to say, I'm out. I mean, he's Justin Thomas. He, he, do, he didn't need the, the money. He didn't need the, the win. I, I say that. I don't know, you know, but – he, there was something in him that said, no, Grand, granddad wants me to play. That's where I need to be. That's where I, where I live. And that's where I can try to, to, to get through this. So the PTSD is not necessarily just for, for first responders, firefighters, and, and police uh, veterans. At any point, somebody can go through something that, that they need that next level. 
Um, and I found that fascinating that, that he, and he's not, he's one of many professionals that say, no, this is my job. M- famous story of Michael Jordan coming out, uh, tiger, you know, in, any of these top athletes, they use their sport cause that's what they love and that's what they do. Right. Right. And that's the part, <clears throat> I think that's the part, the, the, the families of, of, of these heroes is one of the things I think that's, um, I don't want to say it's overlooked. It's not overlooked, but I think it's one that it's one of those secondary things that I think people have a hard time talking about. And I'm sure it's difficult for family members to be able to talk with their, with who, whoever it is. Um, I'm, you know, I'm really excited to see the things that you're going to do with that, Steve, and, and maybe open up an avenue for, you know, spouses, children. If you can get your, your kids out on the golf course, I, I feel like that's a that's an, an arena that will give them um, a means to communicate, you know, with their father, their mother, mm-hmm. whoever, right. ab- about the things they may be going through, and they just don't know how to bring it up to them. But it, it gives you that time to be alone and together, and and have that time to to, to be with each other. So. Yeah, and, and you raise a good point, Mike, in that the the spouses and the families are are sometimes overlooked as far as they're they're hurting too. And Steve, let's talk about that, if you don't mind, uh, opening up to us a little bit, just about that relationship with your with your family and and the things that you go through. Your part of your your responsibility is to not bring that home, and we say that all the time about our, our own stupid jobs. You know, don't bring it home. Yeah. I don't know how you don't. I really don't, Steve. How know how you don't bring that home? So part of your uh, need here is to okay, I've got to bring it home, but how do I? How do I suppress it and, and be present with the family, be present with the kids uh, and, and go throw the ball or do whatever it is that you do and not think about what just happened in, in your in your day? How do you do that? Well, I think most firefighters, we, we, we compartmentalize what we see, you know, push it aside. We know we have to maybe be running another call here shortly. But what's what's happening the last like four or five years, especially is, you know, with the, these peer support groups all across the country is, you know, they'll reach out to us and ask us if we're okay. And we have that opportunity to talk to people that know what we're going through that, you know, they've seen similar things or we can, uh, they can hook us up with a, you know, a clinical psychologist, like you mentioned, but for, for my experience, my story to share to your viewers is, is there was many years there. Uh, I got married late in life. Uh, my son is eight years old. I have a 16 year old stepdaughter. My wife and I've been married 11 years now. And so there was a combination of my profession, Mary late life, set my ways. And there might be similar stories out there like this, that, you know, just the stresses of trying to mold all that together and not bring home what you said, what I, my job. And I tried never to, but like I said, the allostatic load of it building up it, the way that a clinical psychologist explained it to me was your glass ends up being completely full of water and you have no room for anything else. So you got to empty it. So emptying it could be getting on the golf course. It, it might be half full, but then the stresses of life when you come home, the house isn't clean because in a fire in the fire service, you know, we make sure everything's ready to go for the next crew or for us for the next call. So when I'd come home, I couldn't separate that work life to home life, but the house was a mess. So there, there went my glass. It filled right back up again. She would always tell me lately when it got me on this journey back in 2017 is they, they love it when I'm at work because they were walking around on eggshells when I was at home, wondering when I was going to blow up next and go point my finger in their face and, and raising my voice in anger. And that's where I told you the story in 2017. I brought that up about to my buddy Ryan and that's what got me started on the journey. So it, not only is it real for first responders and military, it's real for the family members too. They, they go through it and they suffer as well. Steve Pope is the guest here on the Stick and Hack Show, a Kansas City firefighter and part of the Firefighters for Golf uh, uh, Association. And uh, search them online at Firefighter Golf on Facebook and YouTube to find out the stories and more. Yeah, I mean, Steve, for me, I just, I just love this cause. Um, I hope that we as stick and hack can help you advance the cause. I hope that, um, whatever it is that you do down the line that we can, uh, somehow partner with you and help you, uh, bring awareness and whatever we can do, we're happy to help. Yeah, absolutely. And, and speaking of that, you've got, uh, got a cool sweatshirt there. 
Um, you ha- do you have your own uh, merchandise? Do you have your own your own stuff that people can use to, to support? Yes, uh, they're at the bottom. Instagram, I'm not popular enough yet for the link to work on Instagram, but uh, neither neither are we. Neither are we, but Who we'll cares? try to get there. <laughs> So, so you know what I'm talking about, but I, I always put it on my YouTube description area. You can scroll down, watch one of my videos and click the link and it'll take you to the store. I have a, a local lady that does them for me that I grew up, uh, her, our daughters grew up with each other. So I just have her handle that right now and she does a good enough job for me. So I, I appreciate her. Um, I appreciate you guys giving me this platform, this microphone to, to spread the mission even more. And and, you know, I'm hosting a tournament August 9th next, this year coming up. To, um, and I told, told the other day when we talked about my first responder golf foundation that hopefully the IRS approves and hopefully I collaborate with the PGA of America uh, and, and that gets approved under their umbrella. They already do stuff for military, like I mentioned to you, and we're going to try to do something for first responders where we have clinics little golf outings and just get together where we have hot dogs, hamburgers after we play and just decompress and share stories if you want. Um, it's about the, the blueprints already there for the military. So we're trying to do it for first responders. So I'm excited that hopefully this happens in the Midwest section and then we can grow this nationally. Um, just like Folds of Honor with, with Dan Rooney. I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. Yeah. And it just, that's my hope, you know, when this pro reached out to me and saw what I was doing on social media, but if you guys wanted to come up and play in my tournament August 9th, I'll be getting some information out soon. So. We do. We do indeed. And uh, our members meeting is towards the end of the year, I think in September. Uh, we'd love to have you out here for uh, for that as well and, and share your story uh, for the members that, that are going to be at the meeting. Um, it, it's it's okay. it's remarkable and, and incredible. Uh, we are, we're proud of you. And, and obviously uh, it's, it's an honor to have you on here. Firefighter Golf on Facebook and YouTube. Steve Pope is the guest. Uh, Steve, we're going to do uh, the takeaways here and then we're going to come back to you if you have time and uh, play stick or hack board games. Thoughts? Okay. I'm game. All right. I'll just pretend you're very excited. He's game. (laughs) Oh, that's that's clever. He's game. Board game. Steve, that's that's rich. Um, All right, Steve, we'll we'll come back. We'll come back in just a second on you. All right, the uh, takeaway, Mike, I, I mean, my God. Where do you even, yeah. where do you even start? Yeah, um, it's an amazing cause. It's uh, just the PTSD. I think is is one of the most under, uh, I would say, underfunded, under recognized issues. I think in our country. Yeah. Um. Not just not just with firefighters, but with with veterans, with with police, with first responders. Um, and I think it's something, especially with this pandemic and what we've been going through, the amount of, of stress that everyone is under and then on top of what they already deal with, mm-hmm. um, I just think it's one of those things that uh, is going to have to be addressed on a, on a large scale very soon. Um, my takeaway is that he saw two things that he loved, three things that he loved, his family, golf, and, uh, and his job as a firefighter. And he said, I'm not going to lose any of those. I'm going to play golf. He's a two handicap, by the way, oh. just so you know, which, which we didn't talk I about. I didn't know that part. He's a two handicap. That's excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Uh, two handicap. He, so he took golf and he said, I'm not going to let my job and my career and what, what's happening affect my family uh, and affect my, my daily life as, as much as it already is. How do I get out of that? And he chose golf. And um, then... He went that next step and said, okay, now I know what it does for me. I want to help people. And now he's, I mean, he's a year, he's only a year into this thing. And, and he's already talking to the PGA. He's talking about taking it nationally. Um, his, his fortitude and his, uh, his passion for this is extremely encouraging um, that there are, are good people out there doing good things that we don't know about and need to. And uh, that's, uh, that's Steve Pope. Yep. Uh, Steve Pope, the guest on the Stick and Act Show. He's back. Steve, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. Did you enjoy the interview? Oh, I immensely. You guys asked perfect questions, and I loved your your takes there. Um, you said it perfectly, really. That all both of you did, but with yours, the three things that I didn't want to lose, and that's that's true. I mean, I, the marriage was about ready to be done. So, yeah. you know, yep. here I here I am. And golf golf saved his marriage. 
which is the opposite. That is usually the, the opposite. Most, most cases. That is usually the exact opposite. <laughs> well, she was here for the interview. She's different still, but that is uh, in but the history of history of time. More supportive. That's right. the history of that's time. Right. That's yes. never never been stated. Absolutely. Golf saved my marriage. Uh, all right, let's play uh, a game called Sticker Hack, Steve. And this is very simple. Um, the topic is board games. And because I was trying to think of ways that I decompress and, and ways that I that I get away from the, the struggles of life. And it's typically to play uh, some sort of board game with my family that ends in uh, my youngest flipping the board over and uh, storming out of the room. Yeah. No, nonetheless, <laughs> here we go. Uh, all right. So sticker hack and uh, and we'll go Mike, Steve and then myself. All right. So sticker hack, Got stick it. bean. Hey, pretty good. Hack bean. Nah, not, not that great. Uh, board okay. games. Number one. Sorry. Hack. Steve. When I was younger, it was a stick, but now I think it's a hack. I could never, like, I don't know when it was about that movie, or movie. Come on. Game, sorry. <laughs> Dumb. Something about that game just never clicked with I me. disagree. I'm, I, I'm not looking for your blog here, Mike. <laughs> okay, you said <laughs> you, you, yeah. you called it a hack. Yeah, I call it stick. Is. Sorry is fantastic. <laughs> Life. Uh, yeah. Hack. Hack. Yeah, hack. Hack. Steve. I think it's a stick for me. Um, I think it's a hack only because I could never keep all the little family members in the little, <laughs> in the little car. It was impossible. Yeah. It's impossible. You can't do it. Yeah. They're flying out, and, and you're like, oh, where did my kid go? And I just always ended up ruining the game pieces when I was a kid <laughs> on that one. Uh, all right, this is uh, maybe, perhaps controversial. Sticker hack, board games, risk. Stick. Uh, I'd have to say hack because I, I never really got into it. No. Hack. Hack? Yeah. Really? The only thing that man, we, I would have thought you would. I would. I would have thought exactly. Yeah, that world domination. World domination, <laughs> like no, building I, Arby's. Right. I, in, in theory, <laughs> but it's just it's laborious. I mean, it's just like oh my god. Uh, uh, I think it's stick because of that. It's yeah. like there's so much. Uh, personally, I'm, exactly. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, at but risk, your personality but it, fits but like, for the risk. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, all right, monopoly. Well, wait, we'll go back to the life game. Trying to spin that darn thing. That's <laughs> Yeah. That's tough too, also, like the little guys. Yeah. yeah. Also. <laughs> we're we're grown we're grown men and we can't we can't no. keep a little little uh figurines in a car and we absolutely. can't spin a wheel. Absolutely not. Uh, uh, right. uh Monopoly. Stick. 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 Scrabble. Stick. Stick. Hack. What? <laughs> no. No. Hack doesn't give you that many points. <laughs> spelling never was your <laughs> spelling yeah. never was your strong suit, I guess. Um, <laughs> trivial pursuit. Stick. It's a stick for me because I remember that playing with my dad a lot, yeah. so that's yeah. always good memory. Yep. Yeah. That uh, was the one I always played with my, my parents all the time. Uh stick as well. Even though uh in the same uh regard getting the little pie pieces into the in the thing was difficult as well for me. Yeah. Uh battleship. Hack. I like it, stick. Uh, I'm going to say stick, but trending hack because in theory it, it, it sounds a complete, lot of fun. It's it's complete like, but then you get you get into it, and uh, I mean yeah. we could play Battleship right here if we wanted to sometime. And if you want to watch our YouTube channel, just go go down <laughs> in viewers. Um, it doesn't have it doesn't have very far to go. Now I put this down here, and I don't know why I did, um, because this isn't a classic board game, even in the slightest. But uh, Cards Against Humanity. Ooh, stick. Steve, I don't care for. I'm gonna call it a hack. All right, I, I uh, I'll call it a stick de uh, depending on who you're with. We tried to play with uh, with yeah. my wife's uh, family one time, and it w it was bad. <laughs> 80, her 80, 83 year old grandma. Yeah, that probably didn't not go the well. best. No. Uh, guess who? Stick rack board games. Um, I'm gonna go stick. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stick. Yeah. I almost went hack, but no. It's it's fun for the with the kids with the little ones. It's, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. Yep. Uh, oh yeah. Um. Mouse trap. <laughs> God. Remember that? I'm gonna go stick because I thought I was was just enamored with that game because it had all of the pieces that it had with it. <laughs> Steve. I, I agree. Stick. Yeah, mousetrap. Uh, that's a that's a grandpa memory for me. He used to he used to build those those things and and they were he was incredible at it. He was a woodworker. I mean, well, you know, yeah, he was. Yeah. So mousetrap is a stick for me. Hey, uh, Steve Pope, Firefighter Golf, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, sir. 
Appreciate your service. Appreciate everything you do and what you're doing out there. Uh, continue success, and we will obviously help you any way we can, our members as well. Uh, and we'll see you August 9th at your tournament, correct? Yeah, I'll get information out on uh, Instagram and, and get that information out once I print the flyers. I, I'm waiting for the IRS to approve my foundation before I go forward with that. If they don't in a couple months because of COVID slowing them down, I'm still going to proceed forward with my peer support group helping me out and I'm going to use their not-for-profit for the first term. So, but yeah, I'll get that information out in a month or so. Outstanding. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. There you go, Steve Thanks, Pope, Steve. Uh, Kansas City Firefighter and Firefighter Golf, Facebook and YouTube. Mike, great show. Good to see you. You too, buddy. Take care. Proud of you. Peace out, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm proud of you. Always. Okay, we're done. This has been the Stick and Hack Show. Go to stickandhack.com to become a free member of the world's greatest golf club without the course.